continue together. <coughs> um, the results of the conference uh, will be published after the conference. Um, uh, we will still have to discuss today. Um, so we will all receive that. Um, I don't know, who starts or shall we just go this direction? Or? However you want. Okay. Okay, I go. Um, hi, my name is Lucia. I come from Madrid, <clears throat> from the Human Movement uh, Commission of Networking. And we came here to share uh, our experiences in, on networking um, and working with uh, social media, especially in Spain. Um, mainly our idea was to share experiences and to share ways of working. But we also think that, uh, of course, Troika and what's going on in Europe is the main origin of um, most of the problems that we live in Spain and our crisis. So we also think that the struggles should uh, be the same and should unite. So we're here to share also analysis and uh, maybe strategies to see how we can uh, build a European network of struggles uh, with uh, all these international people that are here in this day. So it's very interesting and, and we hope uh, it will develop and we will find some uh, uh, common struggles and common things to do in the next months. Yeah, hello. My, my name is Sol Trumbo. I'm originally from Valencia, but I'm living in the Netherlands for four years now, uh, where I was involved in Indignados and Occupy movements. Um, I work currently in the International Institute, which is an international activist research network uh, supporting movements such as Blockupy with information, analysis, and facilitation of spaces for exchange, exchanges of strategies. We are not a movement ourselves, represent no one, but see ourselves as part of movements. We are part of the Blockupy process because we share the analysis that the European crisis is being used to implement a policy agenda that goes against the basic rights of the European citizens, prioritizing the payment of the debt created by the bailing out of the finance sector before defending the basic rights of the citizens in healthcare, education and housing. The European Central Bank uh, with, with the European Commission and the International Monetary Fund is one of the key actors in this protection of the European finance sector before the rights of the European citizens. Blockupy understands this, as we see, and serves as an aggregator of other European movements that are willing to coordinate themselves at the European level. The struggle at the national level has been impressive, but we see, we are sure, that the level of struggle needs to be escalated at the European level. And in that sense, the interesting part of Blockupy is that a call for action is more effective in order to build alliances than a political platform which usually can only be supported by organizations. A call for action can be supported also by individuals uh, that, that are part of organizations that officially don't support this call for action. Um, we have seen there is a lot of learning that has been shared in this conference and the different struggles in Italy, in Spain, in Greece, and this is being shared. I think Blockupy is being an excellent space to aggregate all these experiences and we have we are witnessing the birth of a European movement from below. I think it's very inspiring to see how the German activists are mobilizing in a country that is represented as a winner of the of the crisis. The German activists are fighting in solidarity with the other European countries but also they are deciding to fight for the power is in France. However, the solidarity goes two ways, because the European, uh, the, the German precarious workers are not alone anymore. We are fighting with them. Uh, good morning, uh, my name is Neva. Um, I'm, just a few words to introduce myself. I'm a um, well, precarious worker in Italy of um, NGO, I'm a social worker and social uh, researcher, and um, I, I'm involved in uh, um, supporting uh, migrants' uh, rights, migrant struggle um, with um, the platform, the network I belong to, which is a melting pot uh, project. I have been in uh, Lampedusa during the 2011 while um, several uh, thousands of um, people were um, looking 
for democracy in Europe. I was uh, a witness of the European uh, welcoming uh, given uh, to those people looking for uh, rights in our uh, continent. And, um, well, um, in uh, Italy, um, after the massacre of Lampedusa, uh, last uh, third of October, uh, we uh, realized that, of course, uh, our uh, national government has bigger responsibility, but uh, at the same time, uh, the European uh, Union has, uh, to be, has to be blamed for uh, the, the droning, for the death of uh, those people that were uh, basically uh, um, looking for uh, the, their future. Uh, running away from uh, the Syria war. So um, migration policies are um, discussed and managed at uh, European level and this is why I have uh, joined uh, the Blockupy process because uh, um, if uh, we want uh, to speak about uh, uh, citizenship uh, we cannot uh, exclude uh, people that uh, are uh, living in, uh, in this uh, continent, in, in, in uh, Europe, um, but are uh, not uh, recognized as citizens and uh, are exploited as illegal, illegal workers. And, um, well, the European dimension that uh, uh, we are uh, trying uh, to build, connecting uh, our struggles uh, uh, is necessary uh, to, um, to, to, con to condemn, to fight against the, the violence of the, of the borders, the violence of the European Union that uh, uh, says, um, that wants to help uh, uh, um, southern uh, countries, African countries, but then closes uh, its, uh, its, uh, its border, its fences. Um, so um, next step of uh, Blockupy are really interesting for us because uh, uh, we, um, we know that uh, fighting uh, against austerity means uh, talking about a citizenship that must be for all. Um, fighting for against austerity means uh, uh, recognizing uh, uh, rights uh, to um, to me as uh, Italian precarious workers, but uh, to refugees uh, as well. And um, we um, shared an invitation uh, to with uh, our uh, European comrade uh, to come to Lampedusa. Uh, at the end of uh, January for a big meeting called From Lampedusa to Europe uh, where uh, we uh, want to set up uh, the basis for um, a new uh, way of uh, managing uh, migration and uh, a new idea of uh, welcoming and, uh, and inclusive Europe and, uh, yeah, and in this sense uh, the invitation to Lampedusa is only uh, a step, an intermediate step for a next, next uh, for further uh, initiative and mobilization together uh, in the spring in order to challenge the European Council, the Troika policies and uh, as well our, um, our government uh, uh, policies. Uh, I am uh, Thanos Katerpinsen, coming uh, from uh, Greece. Uh, in fact, I'm a uh, founder of uh, Attack Greece uh, 10 years ago. And uh, we are uh, in, uh, in living in Greece, uh, where you know very well under which conditions and under which pressures we are. Uh, the social uh, situation is almost a disaster. The economic uh, one uh, is not better. Uh, and uh, uh, I am here because uh, uh, of uh, our fights that we have uh, in Greece uh, have uh, uh, limits as uh, uh, the, all the decisions concerning our future are taken at European level. And uh, uh, so we are deprocessed of our citizen right 
to decide how we shall be governed. Uh, and uh, for us, uh, it's uh, an absolute necessity to combine what we can do uh, locally uh, with uh, uh, European actions. Uh, personally, as being also French, uh, I have uh, always believed in uh, another Europe uh, than uh, which uh, the other one uh, which I see uh, since uh, the last years. Uh, and uh, uh, I am very, very concerned uh, about uh, uh, its future. Uh, and I think that uh, this year will be, will be a crucial year. Uh, about uh, its uh, future evolution. Uh, the, the, well, the Blockupy initiative in this framework is fundamental uh, to uh, avoid uh, what uh, uh, we can see, uh, which is uh, one, uh, the uh, extreme right, as we have uh, in Greece, uh, getting advantage uh, of uh, this crisis which is in fact uh, has been uh, uh, taken, the measures that have been taken are measures which are putting the citizens of uh, one country against the other. Uh, we are they are pushing us uh, to oppose the ones to the others. Here we, are say here we are saying no to that evolution. We want to be together as citizens against those, uh, and especially in this capital of uh, European finance, to say no, we do not want that society, no, we do not want that politics, no, we do not want that Europe. We want something else. And here I was pleased during these uh, two days uh, to uh, find so many people involved in so many creative uh, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, even uh, uh, laughing early. Uh, uh, actions which uh, uh, are really needed uh, to uh, have uh, uh, a new uh, uh, perspective uh, built uh, which uh, will be for all much better than the one which is decided by those who are governing now. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for um, sharing why you're here. Um, I would like to, to open uh, for questions, if there are uh, questions um, from the number of uh, press. <laughs> um. Okay, um, uh, um, and how do you think uh, uh, will be um, uh, now the, the actions, what will be in 2014? We will have discussed this later, but from your point of view, you can yeah, say what you expect, I, what you want yeah, to do, which will... I, I think that um, at, during these days, we we, we, we we connecting ideas, we we settle down also some uh, uh, appointment, as I uh, was, uh, was saying, uh, um, from uh, Italy, we are um, really interested uh, uh, in a discussion about uh, the European uh, policies on uh, borders, on cooperation and on uh, the management of uh, crisis and its effects to, to, to people, to all of us. Um, so for the, um, for the, um, the, the spring, uh, we, uh, we, we, well, we, 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 we we, are, um, we will join the action week that uh, Blockupied uh, will, will discuss together. It's uh, already in the, in the agenda, in the draft of the agenda for uh, next appointment. Uh, the spring uh, is an um, interesting moment because there are elections, uh, European elections, uh, because uh, the, um, the, the, the Italian government will take the presidency of the uh, European uh, Council, um, so um, this uh, will uh, match with the uh, action week uh, of uh, um, 
blocked by uh, process. So, uh, of course, we will uh, challenge uh, uh, the, the institution of borders, uh, um, we, which, which are the, for instance, migrants detention centers or um, external border like a harbor uh, or um, airports. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, we will pay attention to the economic uh, policies uh, and economic uh, measures of the uh, European uh, Central Bank. So, um, the, it's the spring uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, it's going to be an interesting moment of uh, initiatives and uh, mobilization. Where Spring, spring will be the next step uh, to uh, have uh, uh, in our basis uh, the uh, actions uh, with uh, uh, the people uh, that we met here but also the people that, the people that we know uh, in our respective countries uh, in order to uh, uh, build uh, an, uh, ally more alliances than already exist at the local level with a perspective uh, because Blockupy gives this perspective of uh, uh, having the possibility to upgrade, create network and connect at European level uh, and it will be a step to uh, the invitation of uh, uh, coming uh, more massively uh, in uh, some uh, other actions that will be done in autumn, maybe here in, uh, uh, in uh, Germany. Uh, and and uh, as uh, it was said, at a very crucial moment because it will be the European elections uh, and it will be the Greek presidency just before the Italian mm -hmm. one in the first semester. Uh, so uh, we have two semesters with the, uh, uh, the countries of the south being quite present and uh, okay, the governments are not the better that we could imagine to do uh, this presidency but however we, uh, it will be uh, a good opportunity for us in Greece and in Italy uh, to uh, uh, make uh, different events and different actions uh, which will get uh, a visibility through these uh, respective uh, presidencies and it is a moment that we mu must not uh, miss. <coughs> Hi, I'm Hanni Fuchs from the Frankfurt Abendschau. Um, what I would like to know is that I know that Blockupy already was a very diverse movement with lots of different groups coming from the I don't know, ultra-global ultra movements to the radical left um, where it was always hard to, sometimes hard to see what the, what the common ground was. If you now open up to all these struggles that you represent in, in, in Europe, um, is, there, is there still, well, what's, the, what's the common basis, what's the common analysis? Is there really something that, um, yeah, that, that combines you all or is it more like a roof what you can all agree on. Uh, I think that the policies of the uh, the policies which uh, are followed by the European Union uh, face the crisis has uh, uh, have uh, exactly the, the effect to put us together. <laughs> uh, they are so uh, stupid and so provocative that we have not no other solution than to be together. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking that um, what we do together once uh, every four years in Europe is to vote for a government, for a parliament that doesn't represent us at all. So what put us together is that whatever happens there, the Troika always wins. And uh, those policies and that, uh, that thing is what makes us come together because the struggles that we're fighting for for housing rights, for social rights, for migrants um, against uh, frontiers in Europe is always because the Troika is winning. So we have to put our efforts together uh, in the different struggles and to do um, to be on, be on a network that can fight uh, that and give uh, an alternative to a different Europe and to build a different Europe. So we, we think of a, of a European spring where we can 
really uh, syndicate all those uh, different fights in different countries uh, and to take a step further to think on how we can make uh, and how we can change that uh, Troika wins. Yes, uh, in the same line, I think we have all realized that the resistance at the national level has reached its limits. We have seen unprecedented levels of strikes, mobilizations in all our countries, more than ever before. And it's clear that the actors and the power structures are international. So this process of European convergence is unstoppable. I mean, we are just getting stronger and stronger. Preoccupa is a process, there are other processes taking place as well, like the Agora 99 in Rome or the Alter Summit or other processes of convergence at the European level. And uh, I, I see that we are all getting stronger at the European level. And I'm sure, as my colleague said, my friends, the spring is going to be a very historical moment in the struggle of the European social movements. And as he said, it's interesting that the resistance against the European Union is creating a more co uh, close European uh, society. Uh, if I can add, uh, going back to uh, next uh, mobilization, um, yesterday uh, we um, uh, pointed out uh, um, two, two important appointments before the spring. Uh, one is very close and is the um, December 18, which is the International Day for Migrants and Refugees uh, Rights uh, in a Worldwide Day. And uh, um, we are going to uh, link together um, actions uh, and initiatives that uh, in uh, several countries from Italy to Greece uh, um, to Spain to Germany uh, as well uh, will um, focus on uh, the, as I was saying, on the crisis re regimes that uh, um, attacks uh, uh, his citizens, citizens and therefore uh, migrants and refugees. So this is uh, one of the, um, uh, it's a warm-up uh, appointment for uh, next uh, um, convergence um, initiatives and, uh, and mobilization. Ask one more if I can. Um, some people in Germany say that Europe is a world power and Berlin is the capital. What is your um, perspective on on the on the impact that German policy has on Europe and uh, the how do you say the power overkill that Germany has um, on on the European uh, level? And and how is it as a as a activist from your countries coming to to Germany? Well, my answer to that is that the political power is a puppet of the economical power. So I'm not pretty sure if Berlin is really the center of power in, in Germany or Europe. I would say Frankfurt represents much better where the power is, not only in Germany but the European level. Because the last years we have seen a complete um, a shift of decisions instead of protecting the rights of the citizens, protecting the stability of the finance sector, bailing out the finance sector in order to save some stability and we have paid the price of our healthcare system, our educational systems and so I, I, I think that Frankfurt represents much better the power than Berlin and the next one I would say is Brussels and they are have created enormous institutions and structures around Frankfurt and Brussels, and we are learning how to fight them. Um, yes, uh, uh, I agree completely with this analysis, but however, it is uh, uh, recognized by both that uh, uh, currently uh, Europe is governed by Germany, uh, by the German government that we have at this moment. Uh, and uh, uh, without uh, uh, any uh, uh, real uh, contest at European level, and especially uh, because uh, we see uh, uh, usual intervention of France uh, at the European level, 
weaker and weaker. Uh, we do not hear any alternative voice at uh, uh, the level of uh, uh, the higher governance uh, of the European Union, which is, uh, I think, uh, a real problem, uh, not uh, only for Europe uh, and all of us, and especially us of the South, uh, but uh, also uh, for Germany, uh, because uh, on, if uh, uh, on the short term it appears that uh, uh, this government is defending the interest of Germany, I think that the long-term interest of the German people is certainly not in the policy that has been uh, uh, selected and uh, which is promoted, uh, because uh, on the long term, uh, the fact of uh, weakening uh, uh, the uh, euro, weakening the south, uh, is, uh, will have uh, big consequences in terms of uh, uh, the future uh, of all of us, but uh, also of uh, Germany. Yeah, I, I agree with my bank and uh, I must say that policies of uh, our um, governments is uh, crucial and uh, so he, during the, uh, these two days discussions we also welcomed uh, uh, initiatives uh, um, uh, challenging the German uh, government uh, and uh, policies as a target, uh, we must not uh, uh, forget uh, the, 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 the German uh, uh, policies and, uh, yeah, and uh, the, 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 the choice, for instance, now to um, arrange the, uh, how to, how to say, the, the uh, universal income, the, the minimum uh, income, the, Universal salary uh, for uh, for German citizens. Well, this is something that uh, we uh, we ask, we demand for all European citizens. So it's a it's a measure that cannot be uh, selective uh, and only directed to some uh, European nationals. And uh, so the, the struggle is from uh, uh, the, the the local level to the. Uh, European level in you know, this uh, um, welfare measures too. Okay. Um, if there are no more questions, then um, thank you very much. I think um, the speakers are available for further questions later. Um, we will now get into the uh, continuing uh, conference and discuss about um, actions in, uh, in May, about uh, the European Central Bank uh, as a target and uh, the opening that um, maybe will not happen. Um, we will discuss that and we will discuss how to continue as a transnational movement, how we can coordinate our uh, struggles, our different struggles, uh, the many struggles that are going on and to uh, to focus together and uh, to come together in further actions. Um, so the process continues and we continue the conference. Thank you for being here. And